My name is Lauren and I work with ROS NYC. Today we're going to talk about flex apartments. We're going to talk about how you can take a studio, convert it into a one bedroom, one bedroom into a two bedroom, two bedroom into a three bedroom, etc. Also how you can live in a beautiful luxury building and take that larger price and cut it into pieces by converting those bedrooms. Let's take a look. We took a studio and we converted this space to make it either a one bedroom or an office. So as you can see there are no closets in the room and right here is the partition wall so this is where we throw up that wall to convert the space. And here we have a sliding door and the top has a slight gap. So when putting up a wall or converting your unit, make sure you talk to your building and see what company they use and what their protocol is because some people will fill that space with plexiglass or they'll put the wall to the ceiling. But after the space is converted, you can see that the space is large enough to put a bed, a bedside table, a dresser, or even a home office and put a desk and whatnot. So the price of the flex walls can really vary depending on price per square footage and depending on the company that the building has contracted with them that you'll be going through to build the wall. Now again, make sure that these walls are allowed in your building because if worst case you do put up a wall and the super were to come in and see your apartment with that wall up, you can have one of two things happen. One would be you'll have to take that wall down and it's just going to cause you a lot of stress and lose some money. Or two, at the very worst case, they're going to evict you. Uh, so again, make sure you check with your leasing company, the management company, and the building and make sure that is all set to go so you don't waste any time. So now we're going to get the chance to take a look at the entire apartment and really see the full space that we're going to get. So here you can see that the kitchen is fully stocked with stainless steel appliances. I'm talking a massive fridge which makes it a lot easier for sharing, a large stove, and you have a dishwasher, which is actually really tough to find in Manhattan. So that's a big benefit of being in a luxury building. And here, you can see how large that living space really is. So you can see that you can get an L-shaped couch, a coffee table, and an entertainment center more than easily. And then you can put those bar stools right at the kitchen counter, save some square footage. And don't forget, you have these knee to ceiling, massive windows, 12 foot high loft ceilings, which makes the space feel a little larger than it really is. So the best part is, you're gonna get this one bedroom space, all for a studio price after that conversion. 